So the cable dogs are essential to Team Eglin's ability to deliver state-of-the-art weapons and cyber capabilities because it all begins and ends with connectivity. They connect rooms, buildings, entire sections of the base, uh, along with a lot of the antennas you see on the, on the installation's towers. You're always out doing something. I've been 200 feet in the air one day, and the next day I'm in a manhole pulling cable. Our military and civilian technicians, our cable dogs, protect and maintain Eglin's command, control, and communications and information systems cyber infrastructure. We are responsible for making sure the physical layer, the physical link, is connected. These fiber optic cables, this is what carries our Air Force network between buildings and also throughout buildings as well. So that's telephone services, internet. Usually when we're doing this, we're either trying to connect two cables in a run for a new install or for a repair if cable gets cut take the trailer out there. That way we can actually put in a new piece of the cable and get service back up. This is new GIS technology that we're implementing into the uh, work center. This technology will help us locate calm paths in congested areas. And um, it will help with digging permits. It'll cut down on man hours. The purple lines will be vacant ducts. The green lines will be proposed ducts to be put in in a future time. Without the ability to communicate through our radio frequency systems and our communication systems, everything from everyday usage on the internet to high important missions will be severely impacted. Uh, we don't maintain the connection here that all missions would essentially just stop. Without us, no calm, no go. In the recent year, despite COVID-19, uh, we were able to improve the network speeds at Eglin by a factor of 11, and we've already got plans in the works to achieve speeds 40 times what the base had in 2019. And none of that would be possible without the cable dogs who helped make theory into reality.